Prominence here, guys. So today it's December thirty first, and what happens on December thirty first? People focus on new goals, new goals that they're going to establish for the new year. The reason why it doesn't work is because ninety five percent of the thoughts we have today are the ones we had yesterday, and the problem is most of those thoughts are negative. So we have to battle that. Now the thing is, you know, we have this master plan of what we're going to action tomorrow. Um, but I always say to people, you know, it's best to actually start that. You know, a few months prior, think about it. If you're going to go into a boxing match, and I always use boxing as a great analogy, and you had a title fight tomorrow, you wouldn't prepare today, one day before. You'd create a training camp and you'd bring all the people around you to support you necessary to achieve that task. So we should do that when it comes to our, our lifestyle plans. So if you have plans for the new year, the first thing is to only give yourself about three goals to achieve for that first um, stage of the new year. If you achieve those goals, great, set new goals. But if you set the bar too high, then you start with disappointment. And just like we said, 95% of the thoughts we have are mainly negative. So if you start with negative, you think, yeah, see, I'm a failure and I knew it wouldn't work. And then the next year you, you become defeatist and think, well, it didn't work. So, you know, we are a product of what we do every single day. So 95% of the thoughts are always repeated. So that proves that we are a product of what we do. But if you do something, like if you were a carpenter, you're a carpenter because of repetition. It's something you do every single day. So you've got to make sure that whatever you think of doing for the new year, you try to start doing it every single day, but a little bit at a time. Just like if you were starting an exercise, you wouldn't try to do five hours. And if you did, you knew you wouldn't get great results. So what you want to try and do is maybe 10 minutes, 10 minutes every single day. You are what you do consistently, not what you do some of the time. So start with three things that you can realistically do and only do those things for a minimal amount of time so that you know you have no excuse to not be able to do them. Give yourself the ample amount of time so that it's easy. And if you achieve it, raise the bar. You are the potential. So if you limit your own potential by giving yourself too much to do, then it stagnates and then you expect the result. Remember, you don't get what you want, you get what you expect. So give yourself a realistic target, achieve it, and then you can power on. Thanks for listening. You are smarter when you do things smarter.